Hey guys, hey friends. As most of you know quite well, back in February I asked if anyone would be interested in a kind of travel vlog that I would make about my travels this spring and summer. And as we all know, that <laughs> can really happen because obviously COVID-19 has made me cancel all of my travel plans, but um, I'm trying not to complain since I know that Corona has made much bigger trouble than some random girl not being able to go to Finland, to Russia, to Latvia and to Italy. I know people lost their jobs, lost loved ones, lost hope at life basically. I have, I personally have friends who are without a job now, so I know this is not the worst thing, but at the same time obviously the travel vlog is not going to happen, but I did record quite a few videos of the day the day before, actually, two days before I came to Estonia. So I have some material I would like to show you. It's basically some preparations for a big travel. And, well, the flight itself and also maybe some little extra of what happened before, like the night before the travel so right now i'm sitting in my flat in estonia tallinn you will see it again in the video soon this is my beautiful view it's already past eight o'clock in the evening and it's still like bright daylight as you can see it's pretty amazing Spring has not come here yet, unfortunately. Well, the locals kind of call it spring already because it's not freezing and you can see some greens on some shrubs and bushes and trees, but nothing is really blooming yet and everything still looks quite dead and I still need to wear my winter coat. So. Yeah, it's springish, but the days are getting noticeably longer. So that is pretty nice. But let's get into it. And here basically you can see how I spent the last days and of February and the first days of March. Welcome. One, that is one more thing before we go. I know my English is less than perfect, to say the least, and I know I blink a lot. I can't help it. Please don't hate. So, hi there. Let's start this travel blog. My journey is only two days away, which means I already started packing because I just cannot be the type who starts packing in the last minute when it's such a long journey. Of course, if it's a day trip, I'm perfectly fine packing the same morning or maybe the night before. But basically, since I'm going to Estonia for four months between March and June, that means that I have to prepare for three seasons. I actually have to take some clothes for winter and spring and summer and formal occasions, informal occasions and maybe something even for parties or concerts. You can see that most of my shit is actually clothes, especially since I haven't prepared everything yet, just most of the things I need. Um, of course there are some utility things and electronics and what I'm currently working on is trying to reduce the amount of clothes I'm taking. So I gathered up, I piled up everything that 
looks something I would like to take. And now I'm just grabbing each piece like, do I really need it? Am I going to wear it more than once? More than twice? More than three times? If the answer is yes, then I'm taking it. Or if it's like a special occasion and it's just like a one night witch t-shirt, for example. And I really have to calculate like, okay, how many clothes do I need to leave out? How much I need for the journey? Like, I need an extra pair of socks, extra panties, you know, I cannot bury everything deep in a suitcase. And, of course, uh, it is very probable that I'm going to get my period at the journey as well. So I have to, you know, make some calculations in that regard as well. Which is not nicest, but still so lovely. So here is where we are now. Soon I'm going to take out the suitcase itself and trying to fit everything in. Uh, luckily, the Polish Airlines are very generous and you cannot only take 20 kilograms, but 23, which should really help me. But I'm going to be really curious as to how much it is actually going to weigh. So that's it for now. I will go back to picking and tossing clothes around. Alright, so here I am at the train station of my hometown, Komarom. I still have like 20 minutes until the train, but I felt like coming earlier, just to be sure, you know. Um, yeah, it's not the second yet, it's the first of March. But before leaving, I still have a concert to attend. So I figured the best way would be to already go to Budapest with all my stuff. Stay a night in Budapest and leave from there. I'm not saying I'm full of baggage, there's just this one there. It doesn't look big, but it's actually pretty huge, pretty heavy. And then a backpack and a small handbag, but that's fine. So, okay, it's actually not my hometown hometown because I live over there, like over the bridge and the river. You can't really see. Um, there's a Slovak side. And right now I'm at the Hungarian side because this is the easiest way for me to get to Budapest to go over the bridge or well take the taxi when you're full of suitcases and just hop on to the Hungarian side and use the Hungarian railways to get to the capital. I'm a bit panicking. I'm scared, I'm afraid, I'm questioning what I'm doing with my life and all that, but now it's just nerves and it will be fine. So let's see a concert first. <laughs> Ta-da! This is where I'm supposed to get rest after the concert. It's pretty nice. Look at, they kind of decorated my bed sheets, but yeah, only staying here for the night, not too much to enjoy the room, but here you can actually compare me to the suitcase, like, you see, it's big and heavy, luckily the building has an elevator, but after the elevator, in order to reach the corridor to the reception, there are five more steps which sounds like nothing, but I actually had to like uh, uh, take my suitcase that way from step to step. But that's fine, it's only twice altogether, so everybody can survive that. So now for a quick rest, grabbing some dinner and dancing Elaine and Mirath, or however you pronounce. The name. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's pretty. It's great. And it's kind of budget. I paid around, I think, 22 euros for one night. And then I got my own room and my own bathroom. And it kind of looks fancy. Look at this. So 
is pretty nice and it's at uh, Blaha Luisa Square so central and nice I think after the gig I will just walk home so Airport, and it was like one of my easiest security checks. Um, at this airport, you don't even have to take out your laptop from your backpack, which is great. You don't have to take out any, any electronic devices, which is not something I'm used to. There are airports where you even have to take off your shoes. They look at your armpits and they look at your breath or I don't even know what happened exactly anymore but there's a lot of stuff involved and here I just tossed my things in the boxes, took them and here we go. Um, probably there is the gate, we don't know the gate yet, let me see, the signs are like behind me over there. Let's see, my plane is at 5.20 and there is, yeah, there is 46 minutes until the gate is announced, so I have a lot of time to just shoot. I've arrived to the duty free where I'm not going to buy anything, maybe just something to drink and I'm starting to get hungry again, even though I did have lunch, so probably I have the ways to spend the remaining one hour until like, we can start boarding the plane.
in Poland and it's a bit clear that I'm still in a musical country but it's the transition I decided to have some kind of money from the ATM and now I'm waiting for my taxi to arrive to take me to my new home <laughs> well that's it guys arrived to my new home got into my pajamas took a shower washed my hair I literally smelled like an ogre so that was really great I met the owners, they are super nice, the flat is great, they left me food, oh my god, they left me some bread and some spread in the fridge and this is my new place, it's the first time I'm renting an apartment alone, it's my new little empire and as you can see on my uncontrollable smile, I'm super happy about this so now i'm just gonna eat this little great estonian bread yeah i have it packed out of course <laughs> just the most unnecessary things so we'll eat and go to sleep i really hope i will be able to fall asleep and to the university tomorrow and I still have to figure out a way how to surprise Daria. <laughs> And I was already not so cool as what Oh my fucking god! <laughs> you are here! Why? Uh, oh my god, please tell me! <laughs> please tell me everything! <laughs> please tell me! Okay, so. In two words! Like. Two words! 
Um, me, Estonia? Yeah, that works. Let's go drink some tea or something. Okay. <laughs>